In this video, we will look at the Hospira Plum a infusion pump and how to prime the primary and secondary lines. The most prominent type of tubing you'll be using is the primary tubing. The primary tubing of a Hospira pump has a cassette built into the line. The cassette makes it possible to program two separate bags of medication out of the same pump, but it also means there are extra steps to priming the line. Begin by spiking the medication bag. The next step is to fill the chamber with a small amount of fluid. Squeeze the chamber multiple times to pull medication in. There's a faint line in the plastic to show when you have enough fluid in the chamber. Now hang your bag on the IV pole. You'll need gravity to help you feed the rest of the line. In the cassette, there's a small white tab that functions as a clamp. Pulling that tab out all the way will open up the clamp and allow fluid to flow through the cassette. There are two main chambers to the cassette. The first is slightly rectangular shaped, the second is circular. The air in each chamber will need to be replaced with fluid. If done successfully, there will be no bubbles left in either chamber of the cassette. To begin, you hold the cassette with the circular chamber pointing up. As soon as fluid has completely filled the rectangular shaped chamber, turn the cassette 180 degrees and allow fluid to fully fill the circular chamber and push the air through the proximal tubing. If done perfectly, there will be no bubbles left in the cassette. Now continue to allow fluid to flow through the proximal tubing until it reaches the end. There may be bubbles that develop in the proximal tubing. You need to clear the line of all of this air by allowing the fluid to continue to flow until all the bubbles have emptied out the other side. This may mean draining some of that fluid into the sink, toilet, trash can, or a sharps container. When your line is completely filled with medication, push the white tab back into the cassette. This will stop the flow of medication and close the clamp. A completely different type of tubing will need to be primed in order to run a piggyback or secondary line. This tubing does not have a cassette, but does have a roller clamp attached to the line. Before you begin, close your roller clamp. Then proceed to spike your secondary medication. Fill the chamber with medication until it reaches the faint line in the plastic. Open your roller clamp and allow medication to flow through the tubing. Once it reaches the end of the tubing, close the roller clamp. The piggyback medication is now ready to be attached to the cassette. 